All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Simplistic and welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be doing letting the person in front of me decide where I eat for the whole entire day. I've actually been wanting to do this video for so long just because I'm genuinely curious about what other people order. Like, I wanna try new stuff. <clears throat> We're gonna be... Dude, I can't talk. Am I good? I'm just gonna leave. So, without further ado, let's start off the video and go to our first drive through But, you know, we started the video off in front of this sign that says love. And, like, I don't know, just drop some love on this video. Drop a like, subscribe down below, get me to a million subscribers, and comment on what videos you guys want to see next because I'm just down to do anything right now. Let's hop in the whip right here and let's get into it. All right, guys, so I know I said I'm gonna let the person in front of me decide where I eat, but, you know, we're starting off the day and I feel like I need some coffee, some energy. So, we're gonna go to Starbucks. So, I'm really hyped to do Starbucks only because I know they have a bunch of different different options that I can actually get. Like some people do TikTok drinks. Some people order like 20 espresso shots. So I might go through the roof today, but let's head on over there right now. Jeez, the line at Starbucks is always so long. I love the Tesla, dude. It's the best. All right, well, let's see what the person in front of me ordered at Starbucks. I'm actually really hyped. Like if it's good and it's bomb, I'm gonna go give them a tip. Like the person in front of me. Hi, can I get whatever the person in front of me got? Their exact order? The exact order, yeah. They ordered a hot drink. Is that okay? It's so hot today. Drink. No, we can do the hot drink. Oh my God. They got a black coffee. I don't know if you guys have ever had black coffee, but it's the most bitter tasting thing in the world. Like there's no sweetener, there's no milk, there's nothing in there. It's straight up coffee, but he did get a pumpkin muffin, so I can't complain. But we're gonna give it a try and uh, you know what I mean? That's exactly how I'm gonna feel after I taste it. Like one of those. Guys, keep in mind, literally it's 90 degrees outside today. Like 90 degrees and I have this. Yay. I just want to give a huge shout out to the homie in front of me for giving me this masterpiece of a coffee. Like, oh, it has creamer in it. That doesn't even look like no, black coffee. No, it doesn't coffee. look that bad. Yeah, okay. Let's give it a go. It's really hot, by the way. That just burnt my tongue, bro, like really bad. But yo, that's actually really good. It's not bad at all. Like the cream on top actually makes it way better than it actually is because black coffee on its own would taste trash. I feel like a dad right now, to be honest. Like, dads would drink this. Shout out to all the dads out there. I'm talking about me. Like, you can call me daddy, too. And now, here's a word from our sponsor. As you guys know, I'm always on the go. And since I live in Hollywood, driving all the time can get pretty hectic. Luckily, I have a Turbo Ant, a fully electric bike that lets me zoom around the city. Overall, I just love the look of the bike. It has a nice matte black finish and it's just a super comfy ride. These all-terrain tires allow you to ride in forests, sandy beaches, gravel paths, city roads, and dense snow. And on top of that, the battery on this thing is absolutely crazy. You can go up to 60 miles on a full single battery charge. And the motor on this thing is super fast. It lets you go up to 28 miles per hour with quick acceleration. It also has an easy to read LCD screen that shows important information such as your speed level, mileage, and battery status. It also comes with three different riding modes for various riding preferences, such as pedaling only, which has seven speed gear shifting, pedaling with power assistance that has five pedal assist levels, and throttle only that has a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour. This bike has a super user-friendly delivery that comes 90% pre-assembled. So when you get the bike, you can assemble it within minutes. You can literally ride this bike on all different types of terrains, and there's so many different versions of the bike on the website, plus accessories so what are you waiting for go click the link in my description and you can go get a great price for it right now but let's get back to the video yo overall i'm gonna have to give it to them this is like a seven out of ten it's really not that bad the person in front of me actually added the pumpkin stuff on top so it made it way better so seven out of ten for the coffee yo give your honest opinion too oh i burned my tongue bro it's hot right it's hot it's not the best but it's not the worst for black coffee it's not that bad that's what i'm saying yeah, i'll rate that like a seven so you're rating it the same thing yeah okay okay oh, oh it's one of those damn it has cheese and i've never seen this in my life starbucks has these like i've been living under a rock well do i hit it from the top or hit it from the bottom hey, i'd say hit it from the bottom hit it from the bottom yeah it's, it's worth it so the back hit it from the yeah, back. hit it from the back and then you make your way to the top okay it's one of these 
It's a pumpkin muffin. Keep in mind, it's Halloween coming up. We're in the season right now. It's tasting amazing. This tastes like I would get it at like Disneyland. This thing is actually insane. Like I'd never had this before. 10 out of 10, no doubt. Shout out to the homie in front of me because he really put me on. I never had this in my life. I know I put you on. Come on, I'm in front of you at the end of the day. It's night as well. At the end of the day, it's f***ing night. I said that it's first. It's still the day. If you want to throw down, you can put the camera over there and we can f***ing throw down. Eh, maybe later. That's what I thought. But yo, low key, this coffee got me going crazy. Oh. Let's go to the next place. Luckily, the last place did not get me that full because I mean, I only had a coffee and a muffin. So I'm already ready to hit the next place. And I'm thinking we go to Chick-fil-A, all right? Chick-fil-A is actually one of my favorite places to go to. I need a debate in the comments down below. Is it Chick-fil-A? Or is it in and out Let me know. Let's settle the debate right here, right now. Chick-fil-A, in and out <clears throat> let me know. But before we go, all right, let's go. Sometimes I don't even come to Chick-fil-A for the food. Like, I just want to have a good combo. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to talk to the person. They're so nice here. Whenever you're depressed or anything, just go to Chick-fil-A. You know, they'll brighten up your day. You'll get a nice meal out of it. And I'm not going to lie, I met some girls through Chick-fil-A. Like, I've got their number and we've actually hung out before. And, like, they're pretty bad. They're super nice and they're, like, really pretty. So, like, if you ever want a girlfriend too, go to Chick-fil-A. It's a great place to mingle. Usually when I go to Chick-fil-A, I begin the spicy chicken sandwich with a lemonade. Actually, no, an Arnold Palmer. That's a lemonade and iced tea combined. So, hopefully, the person in front of me got that too. All right, so the person in front of me got a salad, a mac and cheese, and an Arnold Palmer. I got my Arnold Palmer, so we're good. And um, I've never had a salad from Chick-fil-A. I'm guessing it's gonna be good because they use the chicken that they use in the sandwiches on their salads. But overall, I love salads in general. Like I like the blue cheese, the ranch, you know, we're eating healthy too, like at the same time. I can't be mad. You're pissing me off behind there. I'm not talking though. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of messed up. You're taking it a little too far. You too, then. Okay, shut the f up. Let's get our order and then we'll figure it out after, okay? And then we'll eat, you mean, you idiot? Because that's what you're getting the food for. I just wanted to look at the food. Yeah, you want to zoom in on my face? Yeah. Is that going to make you feel better about yeah, yourself? Yeah. We'll keep doing it because okay. I feel getting closer. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what is that going to do for you? Nothing. Yo, besides like just waiting for your food, I like to freestyle sometimes, all right? So just throw a word out there Frog. Frog, I don't care because I'm doing a vlog at Chick-fil-A, mother because I'm staying in LA, getting paid every day. Yeah, I'm going crazy. Uh, yeah, my eyes are hazy, but they're hazel. Uh, throw another word. Socks. I'll rock you out of your socks, but I am don't give a because I flock to the money. Yeah, I'm looking really funny when I'm thumbing through these hundreds. Yeah, I'm talking a lot of them. I don't really care because I got a lot of pens. Hens? There's a lot of hens. Yeah. Throw a word. Box. I'll knock you out of your socks and put you in a box, and that's a square, but I'm so aware of my surroundings, but I gotta stay grounded on top of a mountain because I'm always flowing and never known, but I'm showing emotion, and every day I'm getting paid, yeah, always going crazy. Eyes are hazel, and the girls love it. Put nothing above it, but that's word to my mother, but I have a brother. I don't have a brother, but I have three sisters, yeah. You can call me Mr. Simplistic and hit that subscribe button. If you're not liking the videos, then you're missing out on some great content, yeah. I'll put you out of context, ooh, but I'm not flexing unless it's on my ex through text and I do it the best yeah I'm pounding on my chest because I'm going stupid but you knew this yeah I'm maneuvering through the city through Ubers yeah in Los Angeles that's all I got oh that mac and cheese looks crazy I'm not gonna lie all right so the Chick-fil-A that I went to is super close to my house so we're gonna enjoy the meal on a rooftop because you know it's a nice day it's sunny outside we're in LA getting paid every day going up we're going up it's a Friday we are going up yo I just realized the acoustics in this elevator are actually crazy it looks like a studio in here bro like, hey, yo! You're the echo, there's none. You like that one? Yeah. That was sick. You're an idiot. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Sorry, Let's enjoy this nice Chick-fil-A, man. So I've never had the mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A, and I never had the salad from Chick-fil-A. Let's give it a go. Do you guys open it like this, too? That's actually crazy. It's like blowing up in my mouth right now, bro. It's fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie, the lettuce itself is really thick, like me, but it's really good. I'm gonna have to say, Chick-fil-A salads, they valid. I'm gonna have to give this like a seven. So let's go ahead and try the mac and cheese. Ready for this cheese? I'm a huge fan of mac and cheese. Like I grew up on mac and cheese all the time. This gotta be a 10 out of 10. Have some guys, you're not gonna grab? Have some, you can have My some. My lens doesn't want any. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking oh, to oh, you. Can you feed me? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, you're so greedy. That's messed up. You guys up. want some? I guess they don't, all right. <clears throat> Yo, we got a video to finish. Come on. Mac and cheese has to be a 10 out of 10. We cannot forget about the Arnold Palmer. Shout out to Arnold, man. Like, if your name is Arnold out there, I love you. 
That's gotta be my favorite thing about the meal, I swear. The Arnold Palmer hits way different, especially in this weather. Overall, great meal. You know, Chick-fil-A is Chick-fil-A. You guys probably had it before, but to determine where we're gonna go next after I let this like food settle in a little bit, I'm gonna call one of my friends and they are actually gonna decide where I go to eat. So uh, let's call up one of my homies. All right, so we're gonna call the one, the only phase temper. Let's see what he wants me to eat. Yo, I'm filming this right now. I need somewhere to go eat, like a drive-through. A drive-through? Yeah. Bro, you gotta get Arby's. Arby's? Arby's, bro. Bro, I heard everyone hates that place. Listen, they don't know what the f they talking about. You hit up Arby's right now. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess I'm going to Arby's. We're gonna figure it out and see if it's even good. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong right now that Arby's is not trash. And even if it is trash, let it be trash. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Well, how are you gonna know until you like until you actually prove it for yourself? That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, let's head to Arby's. I literally have no idea what Arby's is about, so I didn't even know they had a roast beef here. Not to judge, all right? This could be a really sick place. For all the people that's always talking crap on the internet, oh, Arby's is so bad, Arby's is trash. We're about to prove it right now. All right, so we went to Arby's and ordered, but something with the mic went wrong, so we didn't get the actual order, but we have it right here, as you guys can see. And uh, again, I've never had Arby's in my life, so I'm very curious. And what I got is, so I got a double roast beef burger, I guess, and you never judge a book by its cover, you know? All I have to say is uh, I only need one bite. I'm actually good off that. Personal preference, you know, personal opinion, a one or two out of 10. I get why people will say why Arby's is kind of trash. Nothing against you guys. If you like Arby's, you know, you can eat whatever you want, but I mean, I could have made something better at home. Let's just say that. I could have went home, got a little sandwich, put it together. I would have been way more satisfied. Arby's, it was nice, you know, like meeting you, but uh, it's one of these and I'm, I'm out of here. But we did get a diet Dr. Pepper and it came with the guy's order that ordered in front of us, so. Diet Dr. Pepper, I knew what it was gonna taste like. All right. Yo, Alex said he's not picky and he wants to try it, so. Yeah, let's see what's up. <laughs> Don't lie. It sucks. It sucks? <laughs> no, it's stuck. Oh. It's just super bland ham. And that's supposed to be roast beef. I'll give that like a four out of 10. Four? Okay, you're being generous, I like that. You know, I figured it's a nice day and obviously this thing didn't fill me up. So we're gonna switch it up to a dessert and get some shaved ice. I'm a huge fan of shaved ice. Ever since I went to Hawaii a few years back, I've always loved it and I've always craved it. And if you guys didn't know, I worked at a shaved ice place at my first job ever. When I worked there, I used to eat it all the time. So we're gonna find a shaved ice place and order what the person in front of me got. Look how nice it looks, man. So many flavors, so little time. So we're actually gonna get what they got right there. Hopefully it's good. What did you guys get? Uh, I got the strawberry lemon lemon. It makes it the lemon lemon. Okay, okay, bet. I'm, I'm gonna get the same thing. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I feel like such an influencer right now. Like, look at this, man. I'm about to post this on my story, hit him with a little boomerang. Like, you know when the girls do that? It's like one of these. It's like, like you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they hit him with one of those. But all right, let's give it a try. I don't know why the spoon is green. Maybe Shrek got into it. I don't know. That's it. This is my new spot for dessert. I, I can't be eating this all the time because it's a little unhealthy. Bruh, tell me. Perfect. Right? This weather too? 10 out of 10, easy. You heard the man behind the camera, it's a 10 out of 10 for me too. Definitely better than Arby's 100, I mean, what am I even saying? Arby's was trash, I'm not gonna lie guys. It was really bad. I hate to talk bad about things, but when I fully believe something like Arby's, you know, so there's some people over there with some ice cream. I'm gonna ask them where I should eat next. I mean, anything. Like, in and out. In and out? Yes. Let's go. All right. Thank you, bro. All right, guys. He said In and Out cannot go wrong with In and Out. I'm from California, born and raised, so I already know what it's about. But there's only like three things on the menu at In and Out, so like I'm happy. I already know what basically I'm gonna get. We're gonna finish this and then uh, we'll head there in a little bit. Low key, I already know what I'm getting myself into because this is the in and out in Hollywood and every single time when you go to this one, it's super packed. Like it's a 40 minute wait. Okay, not 40 minutes. It's like a 20 minute wait. I honestly wish it worked like Disneyland because I would have got a fast pass. I already would have been up there, but it's all good. Especially right now, everyone's just getting off of work. So it's gonna be a long wait, but it's in and out. I'm hyped. I overheard the person in front of me get a hot chocolate. What's with people getting hot drinks? It's freaking hot outside. Can I get whatever they got? Like the same thing? The same thing? Yeah, same exact thing. You but might have to help me out here. So they got two double doubles, two animal style fries, two pink lemonades, two fries light, and a hot cocoa. Yo, we're gonna have to go crazy on these real quick. Like one of those, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we have a lot to work with here. 
Oh, that's juicy. Oh! Oh, that went on the dunks. Yo, it kind of gives it characteristic though, you know what I mean? True. I'm low-key still full from like all the other meals. I'm a skinny guy, man. Like, I don't be eating that much as it is. But I literally just had in and out last night with the guy behind the camera. Like, literally. Like, we literally just had it. It's still bomb though. I feel like I can still kill a no, burger. No, this is still fire. I just can't eat in and out all the time because I'll get tired of it. Like, growing up, I always used to eat it. So it's like, when I do eat it now, it's like, it's in and out, you know? I mean, I'm just gonna give it in and out a 10 out of 10. Because I'm thinking like, longevity-wise, throughout all of life, like in and out will always hit always we're going to the zoo right now with these animal fries <laughs> get it yeah i get it i get it i have to take a sh guys i'm so sorry like you see now i didn't want to eat because of that, no, that that's messed up no like i literally have to drop a big one like that see that the size of that i swear hot cocoa from in and out and it has marshmallows in it look at she lied wait no they might be at the bottom maybe i don't want to call someone a liar all right maybe she didn't lie Damn. Yo, I've never had uh, hot cocoa from In-N-Out in my life. That's actually really good. This is better than a hot cocoa from Starbucks, and I promise you, like, it's actually really good. Bro, Brad is really good. Right? <laughs> Let's peak lemonade. I'm a peak lemonade over regular lemonade type of guy. All right, so we're actually back at my place. So we're gonna go back to my apartment and put all this in the fridge so we're not wasting anything. We're gonna hit one more place after this to end off the video. I'm eating a lot more than I usually do today and I'm getting really tired, but I'm doing it for you guys, so. All right, the good old Taco Bell. Honestly, a lot of people say Taco Bell is trash. I don't really care because I've always loved Taco Bell. I love the I love the gorditas, Doritos Locos tacos, bean and cheese burritos, the five layer ones. I'm not gonna lie, Taco Bell does make me go to the restroom like really bad, like super heavy. You know, it's worth it when it tastes that good, you know what I'm saying? So this is the homie right here that, uh, you know, we're gonna get our meal from. Me trying to eavesdrop to see what I'm getting. Yeah, can I just get literally exactly what he got? Ooh, a chicken chalupa, a burrito, and <laughs> chips and cheese. So the homie Homie in front of me got two chicken chalupas, one beef burrito. Homie really got six fire sauces, like on the dot. He said, I want six of them. Gotta respect it. Pop this bad boy open, ready for a stomach ache. All right, got the chips. Ooh, it has chicken in it too, not carne asada. It's fine, not what I wanted, but it's not my choice today. Not bad, to be completely honest. I was expecting it to be a little weird just because like, just because it's not a regular shell. Bro, there's no way this is real. Look it, look it, look it. You know how things come wrapped? Look in the bag. <laughs> Bro, I'm not making this up. That did not come, dude. It's just a burrito in there. Easy access. It hits the stomach. I wish homie got a drink. He didn't get a drink. You didn't see that. Eight toilets out of 10. Eight out of 10. Because, you know, Taco Bell comes with its pros and its cons. The pros, actually insane. Really good. But I've said it so many times, the cons. I'm going to be in the restroom for about 10 hours. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Letting someone decide what I eat for, like, the whole entire day was actually pretty hard. Just because I don't eat that much. And on top of that, like, having to eat other people's orders all day. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and drop a comment on what you thought of it. Subscribe down below and get me to a million subscribers by the end of the year. And if you guys want to see more videos like this and just in general want to see me do more food Food videos let me know i am literally about to go run to the restroom and probably my brains out so i hope you guys enjoy the video and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one